Hey, don't you hear the phone ringing? Yeah, son. Uh, why don't you get that? I'm gonna see if I can make this shot. <laughs> Hello? Oh, hi, Donna. Just a second. Hey, Pop, it's Donna. Uh, tell her I'm indisposed. <laughs> he says he's too busy playing pool to be bothered with you. Just tell her I'll call her back in a minute, dummy. <laughs> he said he'll call you back later, Donna. Look, don't worry about a thing. I know how to put a stop to this. Okay. Hello? No, I'm not accepting no charges from no cha-cha Hogan in Detroit. <laughs> Leroy don't live here. Hey, Lamont, watch this shot here. Yeah, you becoming a regular Central Avenue fats. You're a good son, Lamont. You're a good son. I think so. Uh, would you get the dough, good son? Oh, hey. All right. Off the set, sell them down. Who wants to play a devil one? Oh, I'm having right. fun, yeah. Anybody want to win? <laughs> <laughs> OK. All right, let's take up where we left off last night. <laughs> you didn't get beat bad enough last night, huh, Grady? You were just lucky last night. What do you mean, lucky? Grady, I could beat you blindfolded, one arm tied behind me and the other one in the cast, wearing army shoes in the hospital, having an emergency appendectomy. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, fellas, look what I got. Come and get it. Hey, all right, boys. You bet. Hey, yeah. Look at here. Ooh, we yeah. won't talk and talk, child. I can hear you. Yeah, come on. Man. Let me see something. What are you doing here? What are you doing? Give me my stuff. Well, it's just a few snacks for your friends. A few snacks? Yeah, a few snacks. Hey, hey, fellas. Look Wait. here, when that runs out, there's more in the kitchen. Okay. Hey, okay. hey, 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 and there's some booze in the cabinet. Yeah. 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 Hey, listen, come here. Come here. Get in there. Listen, what's the matter with you giving away all my food? Pop, if you're gonna have friends over here, you gotta give them a little something to eat. Not them friends. Them bellies are homegrown. <laughs> and they should grow them at home. Listen, I, you never saw me that. Every time the elbow bend the mouth fly open. Son, they are dangerous. Pop, Jesus fed the multitude with four fish and a loaf of bread. But he couldn't feed that bunch with four whales and a truckload of bread. <laughs> I, listen. That was a nice snack, Lamont. You got any toothpicks? No, we ain't got no toothpicks. We ain't got nothing. Oh, that's all right. Never mind. <laughs> Lamont, he gonna eat my broom. <laughs> hey, how was the food, fellas? Oh, that's fine. It's good. 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 Oh. Hey, Pop, look, uh, I gotta run down to the supermarket and get some more uh, refreshments. Let me have five hours. Five hours for what? For some more refreshments for your friends. Hey, all y'all coming back tomorrow, aren't you? I ain't me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better make it ten, Pop. Come on, let me have the money. You know, somehow this, this ain't working out the way I thought it was. Yeah. I think it's working out fine. Hey, Fred, you out of scotch? You out of your mind. I know all about scotch. Huh? I had a whole bottle of scotch in that cabinet. That's what I'm saying. You had a whole bottle, but now you're out. <laughs> hey, Grady. Uh -huh. hey, come, come here, Grady. It's you yourself. Yeah, come here. Oh, goodness. <laughs> hey, oh, my Grady. Mm. Grady, I can talk to you. See, you're my friend, and I can talk to you because you ain't one of them eaters. Uh, Grady, don't, don't suck your teeth while I'm talking to you. <laughs> Grady, I got to get rid of that damn pool table. Uh, why? Why? I can't keep filling them big bellies up every night. Come here, look at these guys over there. Look at them. Just peep out there. <laughs> Listen, Grady. Grady, I I'm afraid. I'm afraid when they finish eating all that, they're going to start putting salt and pepper on my furniture. <laughs> Grady, don't suck your teeth, please. <laughs> Have a straw, Grady. Yeah. Have a bunch of them, Grady. But don't suck your teeth while I'm talking to you. Yeah. What's wrong, anyway? I thought you and Goldstein were friends. I don't want to talk about it. And besides, what are you doing here so early? I couldn't wait to get home to show you this, Pop. You know what this is? Let me see that. Yeah. It's an old rusty gun. <laughs> That's an original Revolutionary War rifle. I picked it up in an auction for 50 bucks. 
You paid 50, 50 bucks, 50 bucks for this? Pop, this is an original Revolutionary War rifle. It's called a brown bass. And he sold it to a brown dummy. <laughs> I thought you'd say something like that. <laughs> Look, Pop, see, when I left the auction, I went to two or three gun shops, and each one of the guys there told me that if I was to clean it up and polish it real good, I could get as much as $800 for it. It's an antique. You see how rusty it is? Look at it. Listen, that don't mean nothing. No, I didn't make these things look old. See, they take them and beat them with a chain. And then they bury them in the ground so that the worms can gnaw at them. And then they dig them up and leave them in the rain for three or four days. <laughs> then they take it down to auction, and the man says, sold to the dummy with the black mustache. <laughs> you don't believe me? All right, hold this. Just hold that. Now, you see these three business cards? They're all from gun stores. Each one of these guys told me that I could get as much as $750 for that rifle. Let me get a good look at this rifle. Oh, why don't you quit pretending? You don't know nothing about antiques, and you know even less about guns. Who don't know about guns? You don't. Are you kidding? World War I, Fred B. Sanford. B. Sanford? What's the B for? Bullseye. <laughs> Machine gunner, World War I. Rifleman, pistol expert. Now, how about that? Yeah, well, that's not the way I heard it. It was World War II, and it was Fred B. Sanford, all right, and the B wasn't for Bullseye. <laughs> it was Fort Dix, New Jersey. Potato peeler, latrine orderly, and KP. How about that? How about one cross your lip? <laughs> oh, come on, Pop. Even if you do know about modern guns, you know nothing about a gun that's 200 years old. Who don't? You don't. I guess next you'll be telling me you was in the Revolutionary War. Well, I wasn't. One of my ancestors was Buford Sanford. Buford? That's right. Buford Sanford. He was a slave. And when Revolutionary War started, see, they let him off so that he could go ahead and uh, fight. And he was so good, and when the war was over, they was nice enough to let him go back to being a slave again. <laughs> Well, then how come I never heard about him? I was saving it for the right moment. <laughs> and some other stories they tell about Buford. Like what? Well, see, you remember that picture where there's uh, three guys marching, and one of them is blowing a flute, and the other one is carrying the flag? You mean the spirit of 76? That's it. Guess who was playing the drum? Buford? <laughs> Buford. <laughs> Bob, I've seen that picture a thousand times, and all three of them dudes is white. So what? I may tell you see pictures of Jesus and he's white. Well, what about it? That's wrong, too. Because you can't hang around Jerusalem no 30-some years and don't wear no hat and stay white. Well, I finished upstairs. I tell you, Mr. Sanford, you know what I almost said when I first saw this place? I almost said, what hit it? Hurricane Agnes? <laughs> I can tell you, that upstairs was a disaster area. Oh, you mind if I sit down? No, no, sit down. Mm-hmm. Mind if I smoke? No, just don't burn us down. <laughs> Oh, boy, a five-minute rest will do me a lot of good. <laughs> ah, I had to wait 45 minutes for my bus this morning. 45 minutes, there's no bench at the bus stop, you know? And then an hour's ride here. Ooh, I stood up part of the way. My feet are killing me. <laughs> <sighs> hey, Mary, uh, bet you don't take too many jobs like this, do you? I mean, you know, uh, coming all the way down here to work for, uh, for, for black people. Money's green. <laughs> Job's a job, and people are people. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you feel that way, yeah. because some of my best friends are white. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, a fella down the street named Goldstein. He's a junk dealer. He's a friend of mine. And uh, funny thing, Goldstein is not only white, he's Jewish. Is that so? Yeah. We ate together once. Oh, I think that's wonderful. 
Yeah. And, and, and something else, Mary. I wouldn't want nobody to hear me say this, but I think Jack Dempsey could have beat Joe Lewis. Do you? Yeah, now don't get me wrong. Joe was good, but Jack was a real slugger, real fighter. And outside the ring, a real gentleman. Yes, sir. Real gentleman, a credit to his race. <laughs> That's nice. Well, coffee breaks over. I'd better get back to work. Yeah. <laughs> Say, Mr. Sampler, are you comfortable? Yeah, I'm fine. Let's get tired sitting there. I don't Anything need... I can do for you? Nothing at Anything all. Anything you need? I don't Say, need... why don't I give you a nice alcohol rub? That'd make you feel good. <laughs> Mary, Mary, would you give me something cold to drink? Oh, sure. I'd be glad to. What would you like? Why don't you look in the refrigerator and see what we got? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking of. It's Let me all make right. you mad when something like that happens. Mary, I didn't do it on purpose. Mary, but listen, I want to tell you something. It's all right. If you want me to pay for it, I'll pay Mary, for it. Mary, Mary, I said it's all right. You don't have to pay for nothing. Oh, okay. Well, Mary, why don't you just take a rest? You oh. know what I mean? No, no, no. Not over there. Over here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. See, you don't have to be doing something every minute, Mary. Yeah, okay. You know, just take a little second rest there. You know what I mean? Because I'm not a slave driver. Yeah, well, I didn't sleep very well last night. You know, this has been kind of a hard day on me. Yeah. Yeah, it feels well, you good. Know, I know how it is. You have to get up early in the yeah. morning and get dressed, have a cup of coffee maybe, go down to the bus stop, catch the bus, mm -hmm. and it's crowded. You got to push and shove, have the exact change. By the time you get where you're going, you got to be. <laughs> Mary? Mary? What is it? The phone, Mary. Don't tell me I dropped off. Oh, I am, so I get it. Don't worry. Hello? Hello? They hung up. Don't do that, boy! Would you just stop for a minute and let me explain something to you? Now, can't you tell the difference between a real thing and a rehearsal? A what? A rehearsal. Something that you practice for a play. A, a play? That's right, a play. Marilyn is the director of this workshop that I've been attending, and we're going to put on a play. Oh, and, and I hope you'll come and be in the audience. You going to have an audience? Of course there's going to be an audience. Well, you better have the National Guard standing by. <laughs> I'm going to go, Fred. I'm going back to the bar and get me something to drink to calm my nerves. Well, wait a minute, Bubba. Wait a minute. You don't have to go there. You can have a drink here. Man, you ain't got enough here in this house to drink for me to calm my nerves. Lamont, didn't you tell your father about our drama workshop? He didn't tell me nothing. Now, about this play. Didn't you know Jack the Ripper was a white man? <laughs> that shows you how much you know. This is one of Shakespeare's most important plays, Othello. And if you ever took the time to read it, you'd know that Othello was a black man. Othello? That's right, Othello. A black man with an Italian name? He was a Moor. A Moor? A Moor. I know Archie Moore. <laughs> yeah, but see, Othello Moore sound like he might have been. <laughs> Do you want to hear about this or not? Now, Othello was a black man, and he was married to this white woman that he suspected of cheating on him, so he choked her to death. And you call that a play? <laughs> Mr. Sanford, may I say something? Lamont has been working very hard at this, and, and I'll bet you're not aware of how good he is. Have you ever seen him act? I've been watching him act all his life. <laughs> like a dummy. <laughs> no, then I, I don't have to. <laughs> 
Oh, oh wait, wait a minute, Lamont. Would you do something? Uh, would you do something from the play for your father? Well, bye. Wait, wait, Mr. Sanford. No, I'm not going to do anything for him. He'd just laugh. Lamont, you have to get used to this. I mean, your friends and your family are your worst critics, and if you please them, you can please anybody. How about it? Well, all right. Good. Mr. Sanford, I think you're in for a little surprise. I think I'm in for a little nausea. <laughs> now, come on over here, sit down, and, and just watch. I'll watch, but I don't want to. Hey, uh, old fella, uh, will you take your foot off my chip and Dale? <laughs> I pray you in your letters, when you shall these unlucky deeds relate, speak of me as I am, nothing extenuate. And say besides that, an Apollo once, where a malignant and turbaned Turk beat a Venetian and traduced the state, I took by the throat the circumcised dog and smote him thus. <laughs> Size. Listen here, uh, was this play written by a Jewish fella? What difference does that make, huh? Oh, because, I mean, I mean, they go for that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? But we, you know, we can take it or leave it, like they did, you know? And when you was born, the doctor said... Pop, what are you talking about? word out of the whole speech and you make a big deal about it. But what about the way I did it? What about my acting? I ain't gonna say nothing about that. If you're gonna be in a play, you use them kind of words. I don't hear no more of that. <laughs> they don't use them kind of words on television. I'm gonna give me a glass of ripple. <laughs> hey, Marilyn, let's just forget about the rehearsal. I I'm sorry. We'll have to pick another time and another place to rehearse. What about her place? What? If she can come over here, how come you can't go over there? Pop, Marilyn comes comes here because the workshop is close by. I mean, it's easier for her to come here than to go all the way home. What's the matter with you, man? Marilyn's all right. You live alone? No, I live with my parents. See, that's why you can't go. <laughs> You're wrong, Mr. Sanford. Where you live? Beverly Hills. Case closed. <laughs> Mr. Sanford, but you're wrong. Listen, Lamont is welcome at my house anytime. Well, tonight, right now, in fact, if he wants to hey, go. Hey, Marilyn, look, you don't have to prove nothing to him. Yes, I, I think that I do. And I'd like to prove it to you, Mr. Sanford. I'd like for both of you to come to my house right now. Look, he, Marilyn, he'd only mess up the rehearsal there just like he did here. The only way that I'll go is that if he sits and waits out in the truck. You can't have your father wait out in the street. Yes, I can. Hey, listen, it's okay. I don't mind sitting in the truck as long as you give me a camera so I can take the expression off that Beverly Hills policeman's face when I tell him I'm sitting in the truck waiting on my son who's inside choking a white woman's death. <laughs> okay, fellas, let's play Wheel and Deal. I have here for you, Fred, a large box. Hit the box, I'll take the girl. <laughs> now, now, Fred, you remember this is for Lamont. Oh, yeah, for Lamont. Uh -huh. Well, I'll take him Sundays and weekends. <laughs> now, I won't tell you, Fred, what's inside the box, but the clue is fun every night. The clue just walked off. <laughs> now, Fred, you can keep what's inside the box, or you can wheel and deal for what's behind curtain number one, and that clue is air. It's up to you, Fred. Air. Air. And curtain. Curtain yeah. air. Yeah. And Take curtain. Take the 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 curtain. Take Bad breath. Uh, uh, a year's supply of mouthwash. <laughs> no, 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 Fred. Hey, you take the box. The box. You yeah. sure, Grady? Yeah. I'm positive, yeah. Fred. It's the box. The box. Yeah. Uh, I take the box. The yeah. box is yours. Uh -huh. But before we show you what you've got in the box, let's see what you turn down behind curtain number one. Oh. A brand new convertible. Oh. Take this box, look what they find the curtain. A convertible. Lamont would have liked that. 
I can see him now parked up there on Mull Island Drive with a pretty girl and kissing her. Then if it got cloudy, he could put the top up so it couldn't rain on his parade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm sorry, Fred. I, I'm sorry. Dumb blonde, you. Now, Fred, let's see what you've won in the box. Lindsay? Grady, you wait till I get you home. A color television set. I'm gonna give you a big hug. <laughs> I want a 21 inch color television set. Now I can see life as it really is. Now I can see what color the Waltons are. <laughs> oh, come on, Granny. Help me carry this. Hey, hey, hold it, Fred. It's not over yet. It's time now for your big wheeling deal. Huh? Now you can keep the 21 inch color television set or you can trade it in for what's behind curtain number two. Oh. It's up to you, Fred G. Sanford. Oh, no. uh, yeah, it's up to me. TV. 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 I was, was going to take that curtain because it could be a zonk behind that curtain. Yeah, yeah. See, uh -huh. and Lamont likes TV, but uh -huh. you don't watch it as much as I do. Uh -huh. I already got TV, but that, I might wind up with nothing, Grady. I see TV no, 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 curtain. Fred, 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 you, 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 you take the TV because that, 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 that's what you wanted your whole life. <laughs> my whole life? I ain't even lived my whole life yet, Grady. <laughs> and besides, I got to get something nice for Lamont. Hey, Grady, I'm just took all the TV no. in the curtain. Oh, what's the listen, what, what, what's behind that curtain there? I can't tell you that. Tell me what, you what? I can't tell you that. What, are you a bigot? <laughs> it's up to you, and there's only one way to find out. What? The box or the curtain. Well, I ain't, I ain't taking no chance. Oh, hold it, hold it, you can't go down. No, no, wait a minute. You, you can't, you can't stick with this. Hey, wait a minute, hey, you can't do that. I want these curtains. I want these curtains.